Hey, what's up you guys, Blackwing K here, and welcome to another Genshin Impact video. Rather, an update video on the PSN and Mehoyo cross save function coming in version 2.0. Before I get into that, I just want to give you all a massive thank you. Nothing but love and appreciation, much appreciation from my end to you all. Never did I think that you guys would keep me busy throughout the weekend, and even throughout the week, replying to a lot of comments on that last one. So really, thank you all again. Thank you so much for the support, and I'm here again to clear up some more confusion if there is any confusion to still be had. First things first, on my last video I pinned my own comment saying that on PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 we're getting a new startup screen. Scrap that. That's actually false. Or rather, you know, we don't know yet. Version 2.0 is not out yet, so I really can't say. I thought for sure that we would get a new startup screen. What do I mean by startup screen? Well, basically on PC and mobile, you're allowed to log into the account of your choice with the email, whatever email you have set up, and the region of your choice. On PlayStation, you're pretty much locked to whatever you signed into, and that's it, that's all you get logged into automatically. You get no choice whatsoever. So I thought that feature was coming to PlayStation as well. But if Mehoyo is still making us go through these extra steps, these extra hoops to go through, then I don't think that's the case anymore. So I just want you guys to forget about that. Let's all wait for version 2.0 to drop before doing anything. Yes, I'm talking to everybody else out there. Do not do anything until version 2.0 comes out. Don't make any extra accounts. Don't start trying to link anything now. It's not gonna work, okay? You have to wait five to six days when version 2.0 comes out. Let's all wait, let's all wait a couple of days. It's next week, that's it, Inazuma is coming next week. Now the next one is, I didn't think that there would be a lot of mobile players actually considering to go to PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 5, you know, the better superior console. But at the end of the day, it makes sense because not everybody has a $2,000 phone to be able to run Genshin Impact flawlessly or the $500 to $600 gaming phone and whatnot. Nobody has that. I mean, well, people do have it, but not a lot of people. So, you know, if you're like me as well, I recently got a different mobile phone to be able to play Genshin Impact on, and it doesn't run perfectly. So, you know, PlayStation 4 at least has that advantage, even though I said so many bad things about PlayStation 4, it's still good. Like, you know, I got to AR-56 perfectly fine. I'm still able to enjoy the game on a daily basis. So it's still good. It's not all bad. But yeah, I guess to those mobile players that want to come to PlayStation, I guess I would say, hey, welcome to PlayStation. Although if you have a PlayStation, I mean, I guess you're already a PlayStation gamer. But yeah, I'm a PlayStation gamer at heart. So I feel like it's right for me to say, welcome. Welcome to PlayStation. But yeah, for you mobile players that want to come onto PlayStation, uh, the same thing applies from what I said in the last video to the PS5 players. Uh, all you have to do is wait for version 2.0 to come out and basically just link your account uh, in reverse, I guess I would say. I think that's going to be allowed. So that, that would make you be able to carry over your data from PC or mobile onto PlayStation 4 or 5. Now that is only if you have not already downloaded Genshin Impact on your PlayStation and made an account already. If you did, then that's not gonna work. You're gonna have to have a fresh account to be able to link your mobile and PC accounts over to PlayStation. How do you do that? I also said it in the last video, just make a new user account. Once you make a new user account, that's a pretty simple fix. You don't need PlayStation Plus to be able to play online in Genshin Impact, thank God. So you're really not tied down to anything. Just make a new user profile for Genshin Impact and you're all set for mobile and PC players. That's all you gotta do. And that's pretty much it. That's all I have for you guys. Once again, guys, thank you so much. Remember to like the video, comment, subscribe. I'm still gonna be here. I have a lot of time on my hands. So if you have any more questions uh, that I may help you out with, just comment down below. I'll reply. I'm looking at everything you already know from the last video. Uh, I'm not ignoring anybody, so don't worry about that. Also, somebody did ask me if I was going to make a tutorial video, so look forward to that. I said, hey, that's not a bad idea. Sure, why not? I'm gonna record myself linking my own PlayStation 4 account to PC when version 2.0 comes out next week. So look forward to that video. If you still have any more questions regarding that, that's coming out. Uh, but with that said, that's pretty much it for this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, like, comment, subscribe. Look forward to more Genshin Impact content coming out soon. And I'm out of here. Bye now.